you brought uh, three or four players in already. Is there any, uh, I know it's difficult to say, but at this stage, uh, is there any uh, other signings uh, imminent between now and the start of the season? Well, we, we certainly hope so. We uh, you know, need a, a, a centre forward with, uh, you know, obviously Danny breaking his collarbone, unfortunately for him, in a, a sort of bit of a freak training accident, really. Uh, so we need a we need a centre forward definitely. We uh, we obviously need to get a, a goalkeeper as well. So you know we're working towards that. We've got plenty of uh, targets, and uh, hopefully I might have somebody on Tuesday night that uh, you know in the goalkeeping position just to, to see how he goes. Uh, but we're we're working towards that and beavering away in the in the background. A couple of signings that you were after that uh, obviously chose to go elsewhere. Um, in the uh, in the press, in the media, they've been saying that they didn't particularly want to come to Barnsley, unfashionable club. Uh, you know, in the Championship, one season wonders. What's your thoughts on that? Um, disappointed, really. You know, because um, you know, obviously, if they come to the at the ground and uh, and see all the, the facilities we've got, which are second to none, the training area is great, uh, and the, the stadium itself is is probably. I would say one of the best in the, you know, in the championship now. I know there are some really good ones now, you know, that we'll be going to. But, but I think we've got great stadium. We've got great tradition. You know, we've got, uh, we've got a hell of a, a good backing. And uh, I think that uh, they, they didn't really look further than the dollar, really. I think. And what about your thoughts on the forthcoming season? Then a lot of people saying fourth from bottom. We'll settle for that. What's your thoughts on it, Andy? Um, we settle for that. <laughs> no, we want to do better than that, but um, uh, but obviously we know it's going to be difficult, and um, you know survival would be uh, a really good achievement. But we want to we want to finish higher than that. Um, but uh, you know realistically, we're not going to we're not going to win the league, and uh, we've just got to make sure that we we give a good account of ourselves, stay in that division, and then we can build on that and go further and further, hopefully, and, and get back to uh, you know probably. Well, hopefully Dizzy Heights in the not too distant future. Just before we let you go, um, your your name had been linked with the uh, the England job when Sven uh, Sven left. Um, with that in mind, um, and looking back on the world, I'm sorry, laughing at. I was serious. Um, with that in mind, looking back at the World Cup, would you have taken Theo Walcott with you? No, definitely not. No. What I... was his thoughts behind that? Do you think? Um, I, I, yeah, just don't. I don't know. Um, Do you I reckon he got Nancy on the brain? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless I said that about the better. Really. But, um, no, I, ju I just, it was, I don't know whether it was a publicity stunt or whatever. I, I think it, it might have done the lad more harm than good for me. But, um, you know, certainly he, he wasn't going to get a look in, so why take him? And, and then with all the injuries, you would have been saying, well, he should have taken Defoe with him and, oh, right, Phillips, you know, that could have played because he, knew, he knows that they've, they've got that experience so it was a bit of a strange one but uh, and uh, finally then is there, is there a way that you've been able to uh, to put into the uh, the training squad as he's down the headbutt for next season no no uh, <laughs> we've, uh, we've kept off the headbutts um, I think that uh, it'll be a massive fine if anybody headbutts anybody um, but um, that was just uh, another crazy moment of the, the World Cup I thought it was uh, I thought it was pretty crazy anyway with all the diving that was going on. I mean, uh, just they've got to they've got to stamp it out, haven't they? They've got to start booking people and, and uniformly, not just you know one or two. They've got to start booking them to deter it. It's uh, it's crazy. Any message to uh, the fans this afternoon then for uh, ahead of the new season? Well, I mean, enjoy the, the day today. The, the, I think the lads are out there signing now around the pitch. If you need to get any signings, go go and get in there. But. You know, just make as much noise and even more noise this season than you did last season and uh, keep getting behind the lads, we much appreciate it. Dan FM will follow you up and down the country as always, Andy. And uh, on behalf of Dan FM and everybody here at Bouncy Football Club today, we wish you and the team all the very best for the championship. Andy Richard, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, thank you.